The Nashville Predators, Amazon, even Ikea condemning Tennessee's new adoption law. And as News Channel 5's Chris Davis found out today, new companies considering relocating to Tennessee could now be changing their mind, right Chris? Rory, you may remember the Tennessee adoption bill actually allows faith-based uh, adoption and foster care groups to reject LGBT parents based off religious concerns. But now nearly 150 businesses and corporations in the area say it may be bad for business. Mr. Sergeant of Arms, invite the members in and close the doors. Capitol Hill is about the only break in Nashville's growing skyline. But if you ask Joe Woolley, Businesses are watching and we are playing with fire. New legislation could break off Nashville's business boom. We oppose the adoption bill. We're sad to see it signed. And please do not pass any further discriminatory legislation. Joe is CEO of Nashville's LGBT Chamber of Commerce, who wrote this open letter to lawmakers. Three pages of small business signers, 109 now. In addition to local businesses, behemoths like Bridgestone, Nissan, Dell Computers, and Amazon have signed on. Another tech giant, delivery app Postmates, was considering adding 650 jobs to their Nashville office. Now they say in a statement, as we consider examining our presence in the volunteer state, it is impossible for Tennessee to be a great place to do business while its government imposes policies of exclusion and discrimination. That puts real jobs on the line. That is an economic impact that we can measure and quantify. The Titans, Predators, and Nashville SC are also jumping into the game, arguing that you can kiss big league events goodbye. Legislation passes that's discriminatory. We won't have another draft again. We'll be boycotted by the NFL. Joe warns if other similar bills pass, the list will only grow longer. But if something more restrictive, something more harmful passes, Tennessee has the most to lose since North Carolina passed the bathroom bill. Now we, now we wanted to talk to the Tennessee Economic and Community Development Office today to see how they're going to work around this law to continue to attract businesses to our area. But so far, we haven't heard back. Live on Capitol Hill, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thanks, Chris.